Well, hello everyone. Welcome. I'm Kate and this is a Fountain Pen Awakening. Hope you are doing all super well wherever you are in the world. I'm doing really great. As you can see, I have got another parcel that has arrived. This has come super quick as well. And, you know, there's nothing like when you get a parcel that is not expected. I love it and it's so exciting. Yay! So welcome everyone. Thank you for subscribing, for liking my channel and for supporting my journey. Sorry if we're a bit wobbly. I'm filming outside and my setup is very <laughs> precarious. So without further ado, let's get unboxing. Yeah, so this is super exciting because I bought it. It was an impulse buy to be honest with you guys. And um, I shouldn't have really bought it, but you know what? It was kind of on sale. So I did it off camera because it's got the address of my full name and everything. Um, all right, so here we have it. I have got an order from Pulp Addiction from Melbourne. This is the Caveco, which I have been wanting to test out for quite some time now. And this is just um, a Lamy 1.1 replacement nib that I ordered from these guys. I should have actually got two, to be honest, but that's all right. So here we have the Caveco. And I have seen a lot of people rave on about the Caveco and they love them and they've got all sorts of colours in them. And to be honest, I've been umming and ahhing about it. The simple fact that I don't really like the aesthetic of it. Um, I'm not really like super keen on this kind of faceted look. And also what put me off was it was just really hard to find find them with a 1.1 stub nib and I as I've said before and I will repeat I like me a 1.1 stub nib or italic nib it just I just like the way my writing looks in it and so when I ordered my Lamy crystal series I had ordered a Lilliput a Caveco Lilliput um 1.1 in in the blue it had this like special treatment on it where it's like really expensive but then they cancelled that on me because they hadn't got the 1.1 nib and i said oh well i'm thankful for that because again that was an impulse buy and it was way over my budget so anyway looking 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 and i thought oh you know what i really like the look of this um caveco like blue denim this distressed look and so I thought, yeah, I was I'm like, narrowing about it. And then on Pulp Prediction, they had this whole set, um, which includes the clip, 119 Australian dollars. And I thought, oh, you know what? I'll just grab it. Now, unfortunately, this has the medium nib on it. And I um, wanted the 1.1 stub nib. They didn't have it. They sold out. They've sold out everywhere. As I said in my previous video, if you reached to the end of the video, the one that was 30 minutes long, um, I did have a bit of whinge about the fact that everywhere they're out of stock of everything. So here we have it. My first ever Caveco, Caveco Aluminium Sport. And this is the blue denim. And I like the way it comes in this little box. That's so cute. Um, and I like the fact that you get the clip with it because usually you have to buy it separately. Um, to say, yeah, so that's a cute little boxy woxy. What does it say here? History. Um, yeah, so there you have it. All right, so this practically, let me unscrew this to just see what's happening in here. Ooh. <laughs> okay um, it doesn't come with a converter or anything it just gives you they just give you this little um eh, blue international mini i think they are cartridges now just quickly so this is a pocket pen um so it's quite tidy but when i unscrew and post it it becomes a little bit longer 
it kind of feels okay in my hand posted let me just take this clip off ah uh, yeah so the clip gives it a little bit of heft and weight and that weights it that feels much better um, and as a size comparison I wonder it probably be like my um, my Twisby Mini I reckon what about a Prera oh yeah like a Pilot Prera and a Sailor Pro gear yeah definitely smaller than a Lamy Safari or Lamy All Star uh, not that small uncapped but yeah so it's kind of on the smaller side but not too bad when posted and the clip makes it a little bit weighty so it might sort of be a little bit back heavy but all in all I don't actually mind it I'm actually quite sort of surprised that I actually too many actually is in that sentence really surprised actually that I again actually oh my god I can't stop saying actually um that I actually like <laughs> um I really do it, it feels really great in my hand um yeah, let me just try that again with the um, the clip on it. Hmm. Yeah, I don't mind that. I don't mind that at all. All right, let's do a quick dip sample. Just got to stop talking here because I'm babbling, babbling. All right, so I've got oh, I've got a bit of that. Now I've got my Robert Oster. A viola to do this um, dip sample. Just really curious to see what this medium writes like. Yeah, it is very scratchy actually. It's quite um, a stiff nib. Caveco or Sport, all sport in the blue denim. Sorry about the noise, guys. I'm filming outside, and this is the stone washed. Or is it stone washed blue? Could be, but yes, it does have quite um, some feedback. It is quite scratchy. Interesting because the other day when I did the, the video on my all-star, the Lamy, the new one that I bought, it had came with a fine nib. And that fine nib was perfectly, perfectly lovely. And it wasn't as scratchy and it didn't give this feedback as this here medium. Medium. Hmm, so I'd be interested to try this out with a broad actually. The broad might be actually decent on these ones and also I will buy myself the 1.1 calligraphy nib as they call it just to try that out. Calligraphy nib 1.1 and as soon as they have it back in stock classic classic yes yeah, so guys I am actually not too disappointed to be honest with you guys um, with this Caveco I thought I wouldn't like it as much as I actually like it and um, maybe because it's distressed maybe because of the color um, Maybe because, yeah, <laughs> it's unexpected. I didn't expect this to be cute. So there you have it. My Caveco All Sport, first ever, my third new pen for 2023. Pleasantly 
surprised. So thank you all again for watching, for subscribing, for liking my content, and I will see you in my next one. Ciao, Belly. Hello, everyone. This is just a quick one to show you some writing samples because I have decided to ink them up and not wait for the new nibs. Now, Simon from the Hermit's Cave, who is my online friend, I call him an online friend because he was the one who inspired me on my fountain pen journey, made a comment on my last video that he was disappointed that I hadn't inked up the actual um, Lamy and did a writing test. I just did a dip test. Um, so the only reason I did that because I, I wasn't sure if I wanted to keep the fine nib on it. So I was just testing it. But now I've inked it up because I've decided to actually um, keep the fine nib in there and write and see how I like it. So I have been writing it for the past couple of days and um, the nib is loosening up a bit now. So it's getting a little bit more, I call it feathery. Um, but that's probably because I'm, I'm writing on my composition book and this is cheap paper. I use my composition books for you that have commented on just for the simple fact that it's cheap paper and I just play around on them and I write and write and write and write and then when I do some want to do some proper writing I have my Tamari River paper in my Hobonichi I do have my Rhodia you know I do have good papers but for the purposes of playing around you know that's three dollars as opposed to this is like cost me six seven eight dollars so that's the reason why now, I have decided to put the avocado, Robert Oss's avocado, in um, my All Star. And also, I've decided to use my little Caveco tin for my first rule charger sets in here. And just for these, um, for these mini cartridges. These are waterproof inks, 5 Super. I've got a, an Australian red and a Dublin green. I got them on sale. And... This just gives me some cartridges now for my Caveco and also extra cartridges for my brown orchid there. All right, so, so Simon, here you go. It's inked up in my Lamy All Star Fine Nib Inks in. Robert Oster's at Vocado. Now what I've done is <coughs> I had a spare cartridge and with my syringe I just syringed it directly. Okay. So that's that one. And then with my Caveco I've decided to leave the medium in the air for now, so I've inked it up properly. I've inked this one up with my First Full Press Charger Set um, Dusk in Bloom, which is a beautiful combo. So this is my Caveco. All Sport. Uh, as I write with this, it kind of sort of, the nib is softening now. It feels less hard and less scratchy. But you can see that it's, this medium is thinner than the lamb is fine. Really interesting. It's such an exploration and such a sort of, you know, um, surprise every time that every single nib is different. And I guess that's what blows my mind. And in a good way, not a bad way. And this is the Ferris Wheel Press Dusk in Bloom Charger Set. Now with this one, you just kind of screw it here. Um, I had a spare one of those, so I filled that up. And Bob's your uncle. Hope you're happy now, Simon. <laughs> I'll make sure that next time I do ink them up so you can see. Alright, thank you everyone. Bye.